Hey, Afflictor fans, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about the best way to control ticks, mosquitoes, and black flies when you're in the woods. Stay tuned. Okay, so in certain areas, we all know we are plagued with insect pests while we're in the woods, whether we're hunting or doing something else. It just seems like the ticks are rampant all over. Mosquitoes seasonally are awful. Uh, if you've been in certain areas of the States or in Canada uh, during black fly season, you know what that plague is like and it is absolutely horrible. So today we're going to discuss a few of your options to control those nasty critters. Um, I am, we're going to start with ticks because ticks are my nemesis. I have a lot of square footage and ticks love every inch of it. I've actually been prophylactically treated for Lyme five times and once I did test positive for Lyme and had to go through a regimen. Since then, I had made it my mission to find out what is the best way to keep ticks off of me, especially in hunting situations, which is tough because most tick repellents and other repellents, they have an odor. So we're gonna talk about some solutions to that here as we move along uh, when it comes to mosquitoes and black flies as well. But for ticks, it's a little different because everything that I've found that really does an amazing job on ticks has a slight odor to it. So if you're turkey hunting or camping or just out in the woods for a hike, maybe you're hunting mushrooms, whatever it is, you don't care about your scent. Uh, thank God turkeys can't smell. But if you are a whitetail hunter or a bear hunter or whatever you're hunting that's, that's using its nose as a defense, all of a sudden scent starts playing a big role. Uh, but when it comes to ticks, um, you're gonna have to just play the wind as far as I'm concerned because of all the things that I have tried, if, if it does not have the 0.5% solution of permethrin in it, it is, it, is, it is not excellent. Now, I know there's some new products that just have come out for ticks and I've used them and they have been effective, but um, I'm a permethrin nut. So if you are, whether you're buying in bulk like I do, I treat all of my clothes in bulk. So I'm buying a concentrated solution. I'm diluting it to that recommended 0.5%, putting in a big spray bottle and before turkey season, even before I'm scouting, way before, I am doing everything that I'm going to wear for the year. I'm hanging it up, I'm dousing it, I'm drenching it. The good thing about permethrin is that it lasts for a long time. You know, you'll see some studies that'll say you can almost get 60 days out of it or several washes. And so what I do after I treated all my clothes for turkey season, it seems like after a wash, that smell really comes down. And I haven't had a lot of trouble in the whitetail woods with my stuff treated by permethrin, but I'm also paying very close attention to the wind and playing that wind on all of my whitetail hunts. So I'm sure that's a factor as well. But permethrin is absolutely amazing when it comes to ticks. It, they, it, it kills them. Now it does nothing for mosquitoes because you cannot put this on your skin. This is for your clothes only, but the ticks get on it and they are paralyzed. And if they're on it long enough, they die. And if it's really actually neat, if you're out and you see a tick somewhere, you pick it off of somebody else, put it on your clothes with permethrin and watch it. You'll be so impressed. It really does an amazing job. And there's some great products that have permethrin in it, like Sawyer and stuff like that. All excellent. So for ticks, permethrin wins the day, hands down for me, no matter what. When we talk about mosquitoes and black flies, there's lots of options, right? We have, you know, all the commercial over-the-counter sprays. There are some ointment style, uh, like this one that is produced in Quebec. It is amazing. It does an excellent job on black flies. It's safe for your skin and, uh, and for mosquitoes as well. Does a great job, but all of these have some type of odor. Now, if you're camping or hiking or hunting something without a nose, of course that is still okay because um, you know they are effective products. Uh, there are some non-effective products that I have tried that I don't like. The wristbands, the clip-ons, all those other things. I think these are a little bit gimmicky. Um, the, you know, they fail. The stuff expires quick. You have to keep refilling them and they don't last very long. Some of them are even battery operated like this. Not a fan at all. Not had any, I don't have anything good to report about any of the bands or things that you wear that are small, stuff like that. My hands down favorite when it comes to mosquitoes and black flies 
is the Thermacell. This product cannot be beat as far as I'm concerned. It has been a lifesaver in the bare woods in Canada, swampy situations where the mosquitoes are all over you. I'm talking about situations where it sounds like there's C-130s flying in the air through the woods where it's just that constant of wings and you are covered. A product like Thermacell makes an amazing difference. Now, Thermacell has some parts to it that a lot of people don't like to mess with. You know, it runs on butane. The butane is inserted into the bottom of the Thermacell. There is a pad that goes into the Thermacell window right here that is heated up and it emits a small little vapor. Now, most people will tell you that the Thermacell does not have a scent. Thermacell does have a scent, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a trick that I've been using for years uh, at, at, our, at our bear hunts that has really made a big difference. And that is, every time we have a used Thermacell pad, I pop it out and I put it in a Ziploc bag and I save it and I put these at the bait. And that way the bear has gotten used to this. We've also tried it in areas for whitetail where there's baiting. They seem to get used to it as well. Again, for whitetails, I'm a wind guy, but it might be an option for you to try. But for bears, when you're hunting them over bait, if you put a couple of these used thermocell pads around the bait, they will completely ignore your thermocell in the tree stand. And we've had very good success with that. So a little bit of a tip, save your pads, use them at your bait site, it'll help. But overall, when it comes to mosquitoes in the woods, not having anything on your skin, not having to worry about DEET on your body or anything like that, the Thermacell is the hands-down winner for black flies and mosquitoes.